Now that my vinyl is loaded, I am ready to cut. I'm going to come over back to make the cut and I'm going to click on the little scissors. It's going to pop up a screen. I'm going to cut it with my Prova Craft Cricut. Um, there's an option now. You want to make sure that your correct port is selected. Um, do not use serial communication. Select that if you have not updated your firmware. If you have, you do not need to select that. Um, it, it's going to actually make your machine work much faster. Um, speed, I usually leave it on optimal. Um, and then I'm going to hit start and it's going to cut this out for me. Okay, I've cut that simple circle. I'm going to unload the paper and just confirm that I have my kiss cut just like I like it. And how I do that is I'm going to use my Cricut tool. I'm going to grab it just a little bit. It should come off easily. It should not tear. It should not feel like I have to tug on it. It should be a, just a beautiful, simple cut. Next thing I want to check to make sure that I have a good cut is I want to make sure I did not cut through the backing of the paper. If that backing paper is cut, I'm going to have a mess. So the backing paper did not cut, but the vinyl cut beautifully. So that is called a kiss cut. That is a successful test run, and I am ready to cut out the full project. Um, again, I'm going to line up my pad, load it into the cartridge, and now back at my computer. I am ready to, this time, I'm going to hide the circle. I don't need it, but I am going to go ahead and cut the Morton and cut the tile. And then again, back up here to my scissors, hit cut. It's remembered now that I'm using my Cricut, and I'm going to hit start. In just a moment, I will show you the product.